Hey, hi everyone. So this is Vinod here back again. And uh, today we are going to be saying something very interesting. This time what we are going to be saying is, have you ever noticed there were circumstances in the past where you have actually lost or forgotten your uh, zip files or RAR files passwords? Have you ever lost these passwords? And have you ever wondered, is there a means to retry that back again? Right. So uh, let me give you a quick briefer about how and what you can do when you have lost your passwords. So before that, I would like to quickly uh, share a disclaimer. Uh, do consider this material only for research and educational purposes. Any skills or technique you might have learned or acquired from this material should be used at your own discretion. Right. I repeat, it must be used at your own discretion. These materials are only for to make a positive impact in our cyber lives and not cause harm to anyone whatsoever. Uh, hi everyone, so my name is Vinod Sindhal and I'm going to be covering about a very interesting topic which probably I thought would be useful for us on a regular day basis. What am I going to be covering about? I'm going to be talking about zip files and RAR files, right? So they are popularly called the compressed file formats, right? So how many of you on a given day have forgotten a zip file or a rar files passwords have you ever forgotten a zip file or a rar files password ever right i'm sure most of you have right and how what are the chances how how many of you were able to recover them back again right so today what we are going to be seeing is how to recover your uh, zip files passwords or rar files passwords because this has become one common question uh, sir, I actually have lost my zip files password, RAR files password. Is there a mechanism in which we can break that and gain access to how the password, I mean, even if I don't know the password, that's okay. If you can help me break the password and get the access to the file, it's okay. You know, so what we are going to be doing right now is something very interesting. We are going to be seeing how a zip file is going to be cracked and how you can still gain access to the confidential data which is stored inside right so let's get started so yeah uh, right now here in this particular file i mean the screen what i'm going to do is let me make it a little bigger yeah i want you to think of this uh, okay i create a notepad file here and i'm saying confidential right i want you to pay attention this file is called confidential dot txt obviously right so uh, i can say uh, my credit card details are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve eleven twelve thirteen whatever right imagine this is going to be my credit card number and i store my cvv number and also i store my um, expiry date for example right so this is a very important data so what i do i save this but i am not just saving this file as is what i'm going to do is notepad as a application does not offer you any option uh, to password protect them, correct? They don't offer you password protection option at all. So what I'm going to do is, I am just going to look at this very simple. By default, Windows have given the compression facilities in your application, correct? So let me show you. Uh, when we do a right click here, right? So here we have multiple options here, right? So there is one of the option which says add to archive. Right. When I say add to archive, please see this. I'm, I'm sure most of you are quite familiar with this interface, right? What is this interface saying? This interface is very, very clearly saying that the, you can either store it as a zip file. You can select this option here. You can store this file as a zip file or a RAR file or a RAR for version 4 file, right? So I am, for this example, I'm going to say the old school zip file okay but the interesting part is i am going to store this zip file password protected right so here you have an option which says password protect right 
so let me say password protect uh, i just want to want you to tell me any password of your choice if anyone are online you can just tell me a password with which i'll protect uh, i just don't want it to be a very complex password because i am just going to do a simple brute force for this uh, scenario but yes i want you to please give me a password uh, i can use very simple password or a really complex password but please remember if you give a simple password i can actually run the demo and show you the password cracking process very fast right apparently if you want the password to be complex yeah obviously it's going to take a little more while right okay now um, let me say the password is going to be uh, a for apple b for ball c for cat whatever right so i am not going to use a word from the dictionary you know a regular word from the dictionary right so because the brute force attack so i can always try so i am going to say berry b for instead of boy ball bat i'm just saying berry b e r r y berry all small letters right okay now please pay attention i'm saying okay i just click set password set the zip and say okay okay now we have this file too but i am going to delete this file from the system the system does not have that file anymore but there is this file now this file is the confidential dot txt dot zip actually it is a okay it says dot txt which is misleading so yeah so this is the file that we have right now and it is the zip file which is password protected correct so please pay attention i am just doing a double click here and i say double click uh winrar pops up with a message like this okay please pay attention i am just trying to drag and drop this file outside it is asking me for the password correct so what i am going to do is i don't know the password assume i don't know the password here in this example obviously i know the password is berry right but uh, i want you to assume we don't know the password right so let us uh, say apple let us say okay let's see what happened it says a specified password is incorrect which means that whatever you do it is not going to let you extract the file no files to extract confidential right so okay now we understood the scenario where the password protected file is a zip file or a rar file now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tell you a very very simple method and how we can break into those password right so what i'm going to do is i have uh, with my i mean uh, virtual box which is oracle virtual box right so here i have kali linux operating system i just double click kali linux operating system so that the kali linux operating system boots up into this environment and i can try using the default tools available inside of kali with which i will try to crack this password am i clear okay excellent now let me go click a close yeah excellent so if you can pay attention it is booting the kali linux operating system is booting uh, for people who do not know by the time it boots what is kali linux kali linux is a linux based operating system used popularly by security testers penetration testers security researchers etc okay and uh, let me also tell you this <coughs> okay i think kali linux operating system is loaded right so if you see Uh, my host operating system is windows where i have the confidential file and my guest operating system is kali linux which is running under the virtual box am i clear okay let us see if it is loaded once it is fully loaded okay let us see this it's asking for the username and password to log into kali linux i say the default username is kali the default password is also kali i'm just logging into this kali linux right so where do you get kali linux you can just go to kali.org you can download it per your uh, uh, requirement you can download for 32 bits 64 bit using torrents or using a ova file etc 
OVFI means Oracle Virtual Appliance, right? So you can just import that appliance into this, like how you open a note, a TXT file inside Notepad, you can open an OVA file inside VirtualBox, right? So this is exactly what I've done. I have opened the OVA file inside the my uh, Oracle VirtualBox. So once I open, do you see this interface, right? This interface is like, see, this is like the start button, etc., which is like your know, Windows, you have start button, everything looks similar. It is a full-fledged operating system, but the objective of this operating system is to do penetration testing, to do security assessments, right? Okay, please pay attention. I select this confidential file, drag and drop it inside of VirtualBox. So what happens is I have the file which I want to crack inside of Kali. Am I clear? So once it is inside Kali, I have a lot more flexibility and lot more strength to do much more than what I can usually do on Windows with default tools, right? Look at this, I try to do right click. Okay, please pay attention. There is an option that says extract here. When I do extract here, please see what it says. It says password required. I say Apple. Obviously when I say Apple, it says, wrong password for confidential so we know that the password which is very right so here in this scenario it is saying it is a wrong password well, how are we going to crack this password it is very simple i'm going to tell you just two lines that's it you are going to be able to crack it number one I open kali linux here you see the command prompt right like ms dos command prompt Okay, now press control plus to make it a little bigger. So the command is quite clear, right? Now I'm gonna say CD desktop because that is where the file I copied is. Am I clear? Now, uh, ls, ls hyphen la, look at this. This file confidential.zip is available under desktop folder, correct? So this is a file that I want to crack, right? So look at what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, zip to john space what is the file it is confidential.zip am i clear this is the file name and i put a greater than symbol correct and i am going to say bino.txt okay so just to make sure there is a, a comma here i just don't want to create issues there so Oh, let me fix the comma. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Now, I'm just saying it's clear. Zip to John confidential dot zip. Excellent. When I say zip to John confidential dot zip, I want you to understand what does the zip to john application do zip to john john is the application that we are going to use for cracking the john application is popularly called john the ripper okay it is a powerful utility as much as you have other utilities like uh, hydra or uh, hashcat etc right so please pay attention zip to john space confidential dot zip which is a file that we want to crack and a greater than symbol and I'm saying vino.txt. Okay, I'm just, that's it. When I did this, this is my first command. I want you to pay attention. My first command is zip to john, the uh, password protected file, and uh, greater than symbol vino.txt. What has happened, which means that it has created a file called vino.txt with a certain, look at this, I do a double click. Okay, do you see this? I think uh, it's, yeah, here. Correct? This is the file details that you have, right? So if you saw, there is one file. Okay, let me delete all of this because uh, it has written twice the data. 
Okay. I want you to think. I delete this denote.txt again. Okay. I run this. This is my first command, right? I want you to remember we have a file called denote.txt created. Wonderful. That is the first step. Second step over. <laughs> What is the second step? Second step is instead of zip to John, from zip to John application, you have created a hash from that zip file which has a password, right? Password which is stored inside the zip file in a certain format. That is converted to a hash file. That is converted to a hash file. Now look at this. I say John hyphen hyphen format equal to zip, right? Uh, I want you to pay attention. It says John, which is John the Ripper application that I'm going to use for cracking this application, which is very similar to other popular application like HTC Hydra or you have uh, Hashcat, multiple other tools. But here I'm using John the Ripper, very simple one liner utility, right? John hyphen hyphen format equal to zip. I'm saying that the uh, protected file format is a zip file. However, I have extracted the hash from it called Vino.txt. Let us see what happens right now. That's it. Let's wait for some time. Boom. <laughs> wow. I want you to pay attention. What does it say? What does this say? <laughs> okay. This is quite exciting. It clearly says the password for uh, this one is Perry. Am I clear? It's, it says password for this one is Perry. And it is actually used the word list here. This is the word list it's used. There's a very popular word list called rockyou.txt where you have a lot of uh, popular words, etc. But yes, uh, Berry is a word that I tried and it did work and excellent. Uh, we were able to crack the uh, zip files password by extracting the hash and telling John, hey, this is the hash and it is a zip file. That's it. Right. I hope you all uh, were able to learn something from this session. So uh, in case you have any questions, please feel free to reach me. I'd be more than happy to respond back to any of your questions. And uh, here, uh, uh, this is a very simple technique. Uh, this is a technique for you to recover your lost zip file, RAR files, password. With just two commands. Number one, zip to John. Right. So. Uh, there's a zip file obviously so we should make this zip file uh, in a way that it could be accepted by John application so it's zip to John uh, and you can give the zip files name greater than symbol and the hash file name the hash that is extracted from the confidential zip this is the first step second step John hyphen hyphen uh, format equal to zip so you are clearly saying the format is zip and uh, you can also say the hash files name after that and enter that is all right and the interesting part is with th these kind of uh, application you can do a lot of very interesting stuff actually speaking what is uh, zip to john doing zip to john is actually trying to take the hash from the zip file where the password is encrypted right that part alone it is taking that hash uh, which is uh, popularly called the pbk df2 which is a sha1 hash right it's a popular hash technique and this is used by zip and rar files to compress it in a certain format with the password and we try to crack it using the popular tool called john here we use the word list to crack it however there are other methods in which you can crack it you can crack it with brute force you can crack it with the graphic card if you have a graphic card you can actually use the graphic card to crack it like NVIDIA, you have uh, AMD, you have or internal Intel pro, uh, GPU, etc. You you don't even need a graphic card. You can use the CPU core itself to do it as well, right? So this this is a very interesting, simple uh, little technique that I thought I'll share it because a lot of uh, you messaged me asking how to crack a zip file or a RAR file. So I thought I'll do a quick video on this. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think about this video. In case you do like these kind of small tidbit videos i'd be more than happy to do more such right so make sure you use this only for educational research purposes please don't do the uh, do anything negative or do any harm to anyone whatsoever right thank you everyone always remember uh, the uh, best part in one's life is 
doing what people say you cannot do. God bless you.